So let's talk about interpolation and extrapolation. So these are different methods of making predictions. Oh, sorry, different methods of making predictions. Making predictions are used to analyze data. The method of interpolation involves predicting the value inside the domain and or range of the data. The method of extrapolation involves predicting a value outside the domain and or range of the data that you currently have. I mean, that's something that could go there, like you're talking about a future date, what's going to happen. You only have the current dates, you don't have future dates. Uh, model breakdown occurs at the point when the model no longer applies. For example, your population may have grown too much. Uh, here's an example of the line of best fit, by the way, for that um, cricket chirps. This is the computer drawn and calculated model. So it says, use the cricket data above to answer the following questions. Would predicting the temperature outside well, when crickets are chirping 30 times in 15 seconds be interpolation or extrapolation? So if we're doing 30 times in 15, so 30 is within our, our range of data, our domain of data. So that'd be something this data could lead to that. So that'd be interpolation. Come on, wake up pencil. So make the prediction and discuss whether it is reasonable. So if I were to come up here to this formula it gives us, so this is the M it gives us, this is the B it gives us. So Y is approximately 1.14318 times X plus 30.282806. So if we're talking about it being 30, Y would be 1.14318 times 30 plus 30.2806. And that would be, let me get my calculator out. I'm probably taking this more digits than I need to. 1.14318. Times 30 plus 30.2806. I'm just talking to you as I put in the calculator. I get 64.576 chirps. I guess this is um, per 15 seconds. I thought this was per minute. Okay. So then I think it's a reasonable answer. I mean, it falls within the data type, the data answers, the outputs. Would predicting the number of chirps. Uh, Crickets will make uh, at 40 degrees be interpolation or extrapolation. Well, so 40 degrees. Um, we do go, the uh, temperature here is for, uh, 40. 40 is below anything here. So it's not clear whether or not they're still going to chirp at that temperature. That might be too cold for them. We can do the calculation, though. So if I, I need to take that number, it's going to be 40 equals 1.14318x plus 30.2806. And we solve for x. So I'll subtract the 30.2806 from both sides. And I get 9.7194 equals 1.14318x. And then divide by this coefficient, 1.14318. And what is X going to be? I get 8.5 chirps per minute or per 15 seconds, whatever. 8.5 chirps. So the question is, I don't know if they're going to chirp that at that low. That might be reasonable. I mean, it makes sense that they chirp less as it gets colder, but is it reasonable at that temperature? And I, I'm almost betting they don't because I don't remember hearing crickets chirp in the wintertime. I hear it in the summertime. I even don't hear it much in the spring. I'll listen tonight. <laughs> okay. And that's it for this video. We'll be doing line of best fit for the next one.